Hey you guys, I decided I'd make a quick little video on the messaging and people hub features of my Windows Phone 8 Nokia Lumia 520. So I guess what I'm going to start off with is probably going to be the people hub, but I'll get to the messaging app and the keyboard and everything really fast and emojis and everything. So if I open the people hub, this is what it looks like. It's basically the people hub is your contacts. So you have your contacts list right here, all my people that I have. Um, you can search for it with a little search button there, or add one with a plus. I go to the little settings here, it gives me settings such as to sort by first name or last name, display names by first, last, or last first, um, use my location to find nearby places, and then add accounts. So if I go to add an account, I can add Outlook, Hotmail, Nokia Email, Google, and then LinkedIn, more and then you can choose custom things and advanced setup things but you can also add Twitter stuff. So I've already added a Microsoft account, a Google account, and a Facebook account and so because of that I can automatically go, hang on, let me go back to the settings here and hit filter contacts and also you can export contacts to sim etc and import to sim contacts so if I go to filter I can choose Hotmail, Google, Facebook, or sim. I have nothing on my sim right now I have nothing on my Hotmail what Facebook does is it just adds all your Facebook contacts. But the nice thing about this is I turn this feature on, and then I go and save the people I want, and that because I don't need like you know 500 contacts. I just save the people I need from Facebook, and then go and delete. Or I don't have to delete the rest. I just save the certain ones I choose, and then it'll. Then I uncheck this checkbox, and it'll delete all the others I don't need. But I have my Google turned on because I sync all my contacts with Google and then all my pictures from here are from Facebook. And so I created a little test thing here, the A test. So if I click on that, I have a picture, which is my cat, a random phone number. I can choose to text the person, call their work number, or send them an email. But if I go down to the link button, this is the best part of Windows Phone, I think. There's a little link button there. And you know, if you have your Facebook or, so, or Twitter or something connected, you can choose to link it to a contact. Like, say this person's name was Tyler Schulte, and then it saw that I had a Facebook account that was called Tyler Schulte. It would say, do you want to link this, all the addresses from Facebook, and all the phone numbers from Facebook and everything, and all your pictures with Tyler Schulte? And I'll say yes, and so then it'll link them automatically. I have a few examples of that, but I don't show them for privacy reasons. Then you swipe to the right, you can see their history, such as Facebook conversations, calls, text messages, and all that other stuff. And then as well, thing on Facebook, so it's kind of fun like that. You can pin them to your start paper, your start wall, and then share the contact, delete them, or edit. Edit, you have the name, you have the picture, their mobile phone, their work phone, their email, their ringtone. This is, I have, I'm running the beta version, basically Nokia Lumia Black slash GDR3 and so I can have custom ringtones and custom text tones for a person if I go to other I have address which I use website birthday notes anniversary significant other and everything else also if you connect with Facebook it'll go and synchronize with your calendar all the birthdays of your friends so you can turn that off inside of the calendar which I by default do so that's just one page of the People Hub. It'll show your most recent Facebook update status at the very top, and you can click on that to get more information about it. If I scroll to the right and I go to what's new, if I'm actually connected to the internet, it'll go and show all my Facebook and Twitter feeds combined into one. I really love that. It's a really nice feature. If I scroll to the right, it shows me all my recent people I've contacted, and then together you can create groups of people and stuff like that. And so that's the People Hub. I love the fact that you can link contacts to your Facebook, and I love the fact that you can delete certain Facebook ones without having to manually delete 500 Facebook contacts. And so then the next thing is the messaging app. This, I really love how they do this. So you have what's called threads here. So you have all these people that I'm texting right now, right? And so then if I swipe to the, oh, swipe to the right, I have online, and then you can choose, this has built-in Facebook integration. So if I choose available, you should probably sign into my Facebook, but I'm going to turn it off. So I'm offline right now, but basically you can chat with people through this messaging app. You don't even need a Facebook messaging app. It's built into the operating system. It's amazing. If I go to drafts here, I can find drafts of people. That's just anywhere, and then I can delete my drafts from there. So that's pretty handy. So let me also see what else I have here. Blocked messages. I can block people from sending me text messages with this update. 
But the nice thing about this is I can also view the block messages. I don't have to unblock the person to wait for the block messages to come in. Also, from here I can hit the plus button right here at the bottom of the page to type a new message. I can either hit that plus and choose multiple people for my contacts or I can just start typing a name like a test. Let me do that real quick. A test. Right there. This is just to me a test. And then I can click on that. And I can start typing. Now the one thing I love about this is how it does spell check. This is this is gonna be my keyboard part right here. So it's really hard for me to type through this phone, but when I'm texting on a daily basis, it's really easy. J boss. Now see I screwed up a lot in that text, right? So if I click on Schulte, it does not recommend me my own name. That is pretty sad, but that's a bad example. The spell check on this is amazing. If I click on that, it recommends me boss. And then and I just missed that typing through the keyboard, but it's it's very amazing, and I'm uh, this is really twisted. But when I say it's amazing, it really is. Like I've typed complex sentences. Like it also learns how you say things. Like if you start to text a person, normally I start out my text with haha ha or hey, and so if I type e, y, hey, and then I start doing this, what is up? So I, I can I've typed with this before. It recommends the great words. It only autocorrects if it knows what you're doing. So you have none of those um, bloopers with autocorrect. So you don't ever have to worry about that. But this is the keyboard layout. I really love it. If you hit the numbers pad, this is this. This is the numbers. You can also do something really fast. Just do that without ever even releasing. So it's a little quick feature. So you can just go like that and then hit that um, percent sign, I guess. Whatever you want to do. But... It's really handy. It's a fast keyboard. If you double tap, you have like option. Here, I'll go to the options real quick. Let me just give me a second. I'll show you all the options for the keyboard. Keyboard. So if I go to English, so I suggest text. So we basically can turn off autocorrect. Um, highlight misspelled words. Correct misspelled words. Insert a space after selecting suggestion. Insert a period after double tapping the space bar and capitalize the first letter of a sentence. So those are your options right there. Then you have more options, um, such as switch back to letters after I touch, type an emoticon, or improve suggestions by sending keyboard information. Yeah, I don't need that on. But basically, it, it learns. This is a very smart system. It, it goes through your contacts, learns last names, first names. Um, that's why I couldn't recommend Schulte to me because I'm not a contact inside my own phone. Um, it goes through all that and leads that. It learns how you start texts. And so, and then it, you can add words to the dictionary really easily, like if I decide to make, like, and it knows words like swag, like, and it knows I type it with a double G sometimes, so I mean, it has that, it knows I type hey with a few Y's on the end, see, and it, so it's, it's really, it's really not stupid, it's, it's the one spell check that does not piss me off, like, it does not suggest to you terrible words. So I'm going to try to type something really fast, but we get, excuse me, because my hands are in between this camera, so it's very hard for me to do this. Let me see here. Tyler Schulte is an amazing boss. I love him with my soul and heart. I want to marry him when I turn 18. He is so cool. Alright, so if I go through this message right here, I messed up my last name. So it, it doesn't have that. So what I'll do is I'll type my last name real quick. Schulte click on it and I'm gonna add that to the dictionary right now because my my last name is spelled differently than the other so there we go I added that so now everything went right it auto corrected a lot of words I love him with my soul and here so if I click on that it does not suggest to me heart for some reason this is a bad it, it always happens on videos that it doesn't help I want to marry when I turn 18 he's so cool see how I did so there it knows what I'm trying to do like express syllables and stuff so it doesn't count that as misspelled so that's really nice um, I can do a lot of other things that has like Walmart and everything in there. I mean, that's what Android phones have, but it's really smart. It learns how, like, it learns when I say goodnight to people and all these other things. And so if it's like 10 o'clock at night and I normally say goodbye to somebody, it'll be like, it'll recommend that I say goodnight at that time. So it's, it's really smart. Like, good, let me see this, good night. And then it recommends me Anna for some reason. So Anna and... If I type typing this, sleep well. I hope you have 
good dreams tonight. So I mean, you can do that. I've, I've done that where I've just tapped around the top really fast. And it, it works pretty well. So I don't want this video to go on much longer. That's how texting works. Um, that built-in Facebook messaging integration. Um, you can go through a thread. You can change the font size of this thread, which I normally do by stock, because the stock is really small. If you go to ease of access and change the sample size, you can have it really big or really small. Let me back out of here real quick. Oh, wait, they're right there. No. All right. So there's big. So you that's pretty much a bit about the messaging and everything. I love the spell check. I, I know it did not show it was very well on this phone, but it totally destroys that of Android. Just think these are this is the company that has Microsoft Office. And this spell check has to be the most intelligent thing I've ever seen. And it's just amazing how uh, it doesn't autocorrect you stupidly. So I really hope you guys like this video. It went on longer than I wanted to, but some people were wondering about this. And I just really love it. I'm texting 24-7, so that, the texting is, and spell check and everything is a really big, important thing to me. So if you guys like this, like it. Sorry it went on so long, but I just wanted to outline how great texting is on this device. This is Tyler Schulte signing out.